you personally, you're having uh, one of the better seasons if you're in a really good lacrosse career. Uh, your team is top five in the country, and it, it comes crashing down. Uh, what will you take away from this 2020 season? Uh, just just the great the great memories that I have with this team. Um, you know, for me personally, like I said, um, it was just a ton of fun. I mean, being a senior, getting to play with my best friends, um, you know, starting in September and committing to something that was bigger to our, than ourselves and um, preaching, you know, we just want to enjoy the process, enjoy every day together. Um, and we did that. And uh, I think that, you know, people saw the results um, on Saturdays and, uh, you know, our, our kind of mantra our mo was always you know we're going to commit to the process um and we're going to let the results take care of themselves um and they did and uh you know we're very fortunate um and we had a blast uh while we were together and with the time that we had together and um that's something that will always stick with me is the time that i had uh you know with my best friends with the team and um you know it, it's something that was very special yeah, I mean, you can't take away the moments that happened already. He, maybe some of the big moments moving forward were taken away, but you can't take uh, away what you guys are doing. It was a lot of fun to watch. I, I know the NCAA has said that there's going to be an extra year of eligibility granted to anybody in spring sports that, that was dealt this and, and couldn't play their season. The Ivy League obviously has some different questions that need to be answered, but given that opportunity, if you could go back and play at Princeton, like what's your thought process as you, you look at maybe that option? Yeah, I mean, obviously, me being back in a Princeton uniform is the dream. Um, you know, that's everything that I hope for right now. I know that um, there's a lot of people working very hard to find out logistically um, the best way to go about that, both for me and my teammates. Um, and we look forward to taking those steps. Uh, but for now, you know, haven't really thought too much in the process and uh you know, when it when the time does come, I'll speak with my family and make the proper decision. You were talking about your teammates there at Princeton and at a time where you guys all have to be apart in different parts of the country. How do you kind of rally everybody still together and make sure everybody's OK? Like, what have you guys been doing? Uh, it's just I mean, we stay connected with our group chat. Like it's always pretty much firing in there. And, and uh, you know, guys are communicating, connecting on FaceTime and stuff. And so. You know, while we were apart, like we're always together, we're always talking, like, and and even when you know we are apart, like, like the minute that we see each other, be it like three, four months, we haven't seen it, like it, it feels like we haven't missed a beat. So, um, yeah, I'm I'm excited to to be able to see everybody again. Well, uh, Michael, we can't wait to see you on a lacrosse field somewhere again sometime soon. Uh, safe, uh, be safe to you, your family, your teammates. We'll we'll catch up with you again and. and can't wait to see what you guys do with the Headstrong Foundation. It's going to be awesome. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it.